in 1927, Harvey Firestone was on a yacht and saw this amazing property and thought that it would be an extraordinary place to have a retreat. He thought that this could be a new kind of club, a new social strata for him and his friends. Uh, the parties must have been superb. People came from all over the world. So it was a, a kind of place to be, a place to see people and be seen. Winston Churchill used to pass his time painting seascapes, watercolors, in this cabana right here with a glass of scotch by his side. The residences here at the surf club uh, are in many ways related uh, to early houses that I've done, such as the Smith House and the Douglas House, where there's a two-story living space, uh, where there's a great deal of transparency, where there's an openness, and the feeling that one has living there will be like this is a, a unique house, uh, four or five stories uh, above the ground. We put a great deal of thought into the design of the kitchens, which were being uh, built by Bofi, uh, with every detail uh, considered, as well as the bathrooms. They're absolutely superb. Well, architecture is a continuum. Here at the Surf Club, the Mediterranean style architecture uh, has a beautiful scale and in that way is very much related to what we'll be doing here because the scale relationship, the human uh, uh, feeling of moving through the spaces will be very similar. Having the Four Seasons as a a part of the surf club development returns the level of service to what it was in its heyday and uh, makes it uh, the luxurious place that it was uh, from the very beginning. I've worked so hard on this project uh, over the years and I thought, you know, I should live here as well. And so I've taken an apartment uh, in the building, which I'm thrilled about and look forward to spending uh, time in Miami where I can paint and I can draw and I can look out over the water and enjoy the specialness of this place.